In this video, we're going to be talking about Pythagorean inequalities. And Pythagorean inequalities are just an extension of the Pythagorean theorem, which remember is a squared plus b squared equals c squared. And that Pythagorean theorem applies only to right triangles, which means triangles that include a 90 degree angle. And what it tells us is that if we square the lengths of both of the legs, so if the legs of that right triangle are a and b, and if we square their lengths and add those squares together, find the sum of those, if that's equal to the square of the length of the hypotenuse, then it's a right triangle. Well, an extension of that idea is that if we know the lengths of all three sides of a triangle, we can say whether or not the triangle is a right triangle, an acute triangle, or an obtuse triangle. A right triangle being a triangle that includes a 90 degree angle, an acute triangle being a triangle that has all three of its interior angles less than 90 degrees, and an obtuse triangle being a triangle where one of the interior angle measures is greater than 90 degrees. So what we want to do when we know the lengths of the three sides of our triangle is set up a relationship between them and see whether or not the relationship looks like a squared plus b squared equals c squared, a squared plus b squared greater than c squared, or a squared plus b squared less than c squared. And depending on which type of relationship we find exists, that'll tell us whether or not the triangle is right, acute, or obtuse. So when you're given the three side lengths like this, how do you know which value is A, which value is B, and which value is C? Well, the largest value is always going to be the value for C, and the other two don't matter. So in this case, 12 we know is going to be the value for C because it's the largest length. And then from there, we can say that A is equal to 5 and B is equal to 9, or that B is equal to 5 and A is equal to 9. It'll never make a difference which way you assign A and B. The only thing that matters is what value you assign to C. So in this case, what we want to do is we want to find a squared plus b squared, and we want to find c squared. So if we say that this is a and b and c, because we want the longest side to be c, then a squared plus b squared is going to be 5 squared plus 9 squared, or 25 plus 81, or when we add these together, 106. When we take c as 12, we're going to get 12 squared, or 144. So now the question is, what's the relationship between a squared plus b squared and c squared? Well, in this case, 106 is less than 144, so we can say a squared plus b squared less than c squared. And if we go look at our chart here, we can see that that means that this is going to be an obtuse triangle, because in an obtuse triangle, a squared plus b squared is less than c squared. So we can go ahead and say that this triangle is obtuse. What about this other example here? Remember that we always want to take the largest value to be c. The other two don't matter, so we can go ahead and say this will be a and b, and c being the largest value, which is 5. So then we want to make sure we find a squared plus b squared, and we want to find c squared. So for a squared plus b squared, we'll get 3 squared plus 4 squared, or 9 plus 16, or 25. For c squared, we know c is equal to 5, so we're going to get 5 squared, or 25. So what's the relationship between 25 and 25? Well, they are equal to one another. So we can take this equal sign, and transfer it up here, just like we took this less than sign here. We transferred it up here into our inequality. We're going to take our equal sign, transfer it up here into our equality, and say, in this case, a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared. And if we look back at our chart, we can see that that means that these three side lengths must represent a right triangle. So this is a right triangle. What about our last example here? Again, we always want to pick the largest value to be c. The other two don't matter, so we'll say a, b, and c. And again, we want to find a squared plus b squared and c squared. And again, this method will work every time. It's always going to be the same. So here, a is 25, so we'll get 25 squared. b is 25, so again, 25 squared. That's going to give us 625 plus 625, which is going to be 1250. For c squared, we know c is equal to 30, so we'll get 30 squared, or 900. If we look at the relationship between 1250 and 900, we can of course say that 1250 is greater than 900. We want to take this greater than sign and transfer it up here into our inequality to say that a squared plus b squared is going to be greater than c squared in this case. And if we look back at our chart, we can see that that means that this, of course, is going to be an acute triangle. So we can say that this triangle is acute. 
And that's how you use Pythagorean inequalities when you know the lengths of the three sides of a triangle to say whether or not that triangle is right, acute, or obtuse.